Good morning, Tanner boy. You ready to go outside? Where'd you get that fork? You're so happy you're awake. You sleep well? Yeah. It's a good puppy. Good morning, Rosie. Are you getting your wiggles out? Yes. My first gladiolus will be opening soon. The pole beans are loving the cattle panel trellis. Fighting your brother. You put up with so much, Coopy. You put up with so much. You're still a little stinker. Got some kale. family adventure actually right down the road in sort of our region there's a local food truck called mrs. Yoder donuts and they don't usually actually come out to near where we live they usually stay closer to the capital city um, but they have come all the way out near us so we are doing our part to make sure that it is an it is a financial good thing for them. And maybe we can get them to come out our way more frequently. Are you guys excited for Mrs. Yoder Donuts? Yeah! Yoder's. Mrs. Yoder's? Yes, Mrs. Yoder's Donuts. We're gonna get about two dozen. Good. We're getting a bunch. It's uh, applying the principle of possession. That's true. And I'm going to homeschool the kids. So Mrs. Yoder's donuts are old-fashioned Amish sourdough donuts. They don't have flavors. It's just plain donuts. Glazed, risen, 
sourdough donuts. And they are one of the most delightful donuts I've ever had. I'm not going to actually film their food truck because they're Mennonites and I know most Mennonites and Amish don't like being filmed. So you'll just have to see the donuts after we purchase them. So we decided to get there at 8.45 since they were starting selling at 9. We just got back in the car and it is 9.53 because there were that many people who had the same idea as us and got there before us. But we have two dozen incredible sourdough donuts. They are huge and hot and fresh and so good. And because they are so hot and fresh, we can't even eat them in the car because they will burn our fingers. <laughs> so we're taking them home. Are you guys so excited? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Although it took a while, I couldn't I'm not excited. I'm not excited. Why not? Because I'm exuberant. Oh! <laughs> we take our donuts very seriously, especially when they're Mrs. Yoder's donuts. Oh my. I forgot how big they were. Yeah, they're they are huge. Huge. Aaron? Oh, they're still so mm. hot, Annie. They'll be worth it, then. Alright, guys, was it worth sitting in the car waiting for an hour while Daddy and I were in line? Yes. <laughs> we enjoyed our donuts very much. Had a little afternoon downtime, and now I'm doing a little project with the chickens. We have been having a real problem with them eating their own eggs. And we have tried all the things that are said to make a difference, and it's made no difference. So I got two of these handy dandy little things from Premier One. They're $15, so they're not that expensive. Um, it's like a hard plastic thing and this is supposed to be the nesting area. You can make it smaller to fit your own custom nesting box. These things on the side. And then when they lay the egg, it's supposed to roll out into here. Which is protected. So, we're going to see how this works. We use these tidy cats buckets for our nesting boxes and they've always worked quite well. Painted wooden eggs did nothing. Two eggs for the day from 19 chickens. Because they eat them up and we just find shells and yolk all over in there. Let's see how these work. open at the same time. All right, girls. Would you like to check it out? Here. Go say hi to the new nesting box. Say hello. Oh, yeah. No, she's just very much against it. Well, maybe tomorrow, huh? I think it should work really well if I can get them to go in it. Some people said that was like the one smidge of feedback that was not glowingly positive was that they couldn't get their chickens to actually lay their eggs in it. So, we'll see. Monkey. Yeah. Fire! Hey, that's, that's water. Yeah, that's it. What you doing, Tina? Ah, that's the water. Hey, girls. Look at that. It worked. We have an egg. Thanks, ladies. Huh? Well, at least we know they'll lay an egg in it. By the time you guys are done, dinner will be ready. Okay. It's soup, isn't it? 
Unless we get down in a few seconds. Yeah, it's game and life will see. Yeah. Well, we gotta pull these out by the roots and take them to the chickens, okay? Okay. Um, Aaron, oh, take the oh, bees inside and come back out, please. Oh, Ella. Why would they lay in the next thing box if it's not comfy? I don't know, they seem to be okay with it. Oh, you're not really helping her, you're fighting her. Did you, just, did you just take a whole pea plant? Forget peas, you wanna eat the plant? You silly boy. How's it look, girls? Yeah, I'm picking it over. Good job. We have a nice dinner. And then we all come out once it started once it started cooling it down for the day and just enjoy some time outside. Kids get to play, the puppies get to play. Everybody gets nice and tired and ready for bedtime. We had a pretty relaxing afternoon. We really like to take our Saturdays very low-key and truly just rest and be together as a family. I have my knitting basket. My guardian here helping me watch over the kids. How are we doing, Cooper? Are you exhausted? Those crazy kids and that pupper pup. I think we have a storm coming. I am so excited. We haven't had a good summer thunderstorm in weeks. Not to mention how useful some rain could be. Really, really great for the gardens. We have had a pretty productive, mostly relaxing day, which in my mind, a good relaxing day is productive in its own way. Will you stop it? We're getting it fixed as soon as we can. The vet says six months old. That was so rude. That was so rude. Anyway, thank you all so much for hanging out with us today on this relaxing, lazy Saturday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend as well. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, friends.